I can truthfully say with my hand on my heart, not my tongue in my cheek, as I know that most of you think politicians talk, but with their tongues in their cheek, but literally with my hand on my heart, that the more I see of public life, the more I appreciate home life. But then you see, I'm one of those fortunate women. I both have a home and appreciate it. There's so many women that have one without the other. But to be really fortunate, you must have both. You see, the old things have changed. The cry is no longer, what's home without a mother? But what we've got to think of is what is a mother without a home? There are thousands of women trying to make homes in absolutely impossible conditions. And some of them are succeeding. I know small, to the eye, miserable looking homes, which very splendid men and women have come from. And their mothers and fathers, but mostly mothers, have succeeded in giving them a chance in spite of their, those appalling conditions. But those are just the survival of the fittest. What we want to do is to see more people survive, not just the fittest. That's the problem, one of the problems in public life. And that's one of the reasons, so long as there are those problems, no woman who's worth her salt, having once put her hand to the plough, will ever turn back. <laughs>